Ryan, what chance do you give Roma of uh, mounting a comeback after scoring those two late goals against Liverpool in the first leg? Well, at 5 0, they have no chance. At least having got the two goals, they'll be thinking they can do the same job they did against Barcelona, where they were 4 1 down from the first leg and they turned it round with three goals. Zeko, brilliant in the match, set them on the way with the first goal, made the penalty for the second goal, and then a late winner with a header from Manolas. The difference with this is that Barcelona were atrocious in the second leg. They snuffed out Messi completely. I never saw him so ineffective in a match ever in, in uh, all my time watching Messi. And there was no one else from uh, Barcelona good enough to take up the take up the rein and do a job in the match. Suarez was incompetent, I'd say, on the night. Iniesta was also kind of kicked out of it a bit too. Whereas in the situation with Liverpool, well, Roma may get a goal or two, you would have to fancy that Liverpool would score again given how Roma defended. Uh, Will they do that again, play that high line again? Well, I wondered a bit in advance of the game, because Di Francesco, he was generally a 4-3-3 man, wouldn't have, wouldn't have played with three at the back, took a risk in the Barcelona game, got great joy out of Ferenzi on the right, right flank, collar off on the left, and two attacking players played the big uh, Czech young lad, Patrick Schick, up front with Zeko. And he stuck with that system for the Liverpool game, but it didn't work because the full-backs were pushed on, the wing-backs were pushed on, and the three centre-backs weren't mobile enough. Fazio didn't do his stuff, Jesus was struggling, and Manolas was struggling. So if they played the same system, I, I suspect they might change away again and go back to a, a 4-4-1-1 and keep the full-backs back in position for as much as possible. But no matter what way they do it, you would fancy Liverpool to score. They've been absolutely extraordinary in this competition. I mean, they've scored seven twice and a five and a f two fives twice. Um, it's just amazing the, the, their scoring rate. And it, it may not be just about Salah, it can be about Sa Mane and Firmino, as we saw the other night, or something from a midfield player, Oxlade Chamberlain, now with the pitcher now, unfortunately. They'll be hoping not to pick up any more injuries in the last few minutes of today's game against Stoke. But um, either way, I think Liverpool will do it.